What's going on guys? This is KNASTY390 here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing some MLB 18 Diamond Dynasty. I have finally finished it. Probably no based off the title, but we finished Conquest Extreme. This thing sucks. I'll go over how we did it um, in a second. In case you don't know, these are the rewards. As you can see, you have to finish is Conquer All Strongholds. All 30 Strongholds on or before turn 12. I'll show you guys how I did that in a second. If you, I mean, you don't have to do all these separately. If you conquer all before turn 12, you get all three of these, which is nice. You don't have to beat it three times. You don't have to beat it once. Um, some other things like conquer the Cubs in turn one, that's pretty easy. Some of the harder ones are like the Yankees because you have to beat them on Legend. Um, but most of all, all these weren't too, too bad. This right here wasn't overly difficult. It was just incredibly time consuming. And I'll tell you guys how I did it. I don't think I played any games on Legend. If I did... It wasn't necessary, so you don't need to play on Legend Difficulty if you're wondering. So there we go, we got that done. Let's, now I can't actually redeem that, I already said I have, but I don't actually have this program reward, but we get this Dozier. You also get, as you can see, if you do a quick math, there's 4,000, 6,000, 25,000. You get 35,000 stubs and a hell of a lot of experience. I think that's 100,000 XP from Matt Kemp, 50,000 from Molina. You get 180,000 XP plus 650 tickets so i'm almost gold i'm silver level 88 which is pretty nice i now have 90,000 stubs which is really nice now i'll show you guys my conquest board and i'll show you how i did it as you can see i have everything a stronghold now they're all not all attached um because the cpu will kind of go in and break them apart but you start here where i'm highlighted right here i then went to the rockies i then went to seattle and then i went down to that san francisco that is oakland here i then went to that is i think that's angels that's the Dodgers. Then I went down here to, um, who would that be? That'd be the Padres. And then I went to the, uh, this is the Diamondbacks. So after here, I then stopped. Now, just a quick FYI, in the Steel Fan phase, I stole fans every single time in Hall of Fame. I lost one game, and then the last time I did it, I only stole an All-Star, because I knew I was going to do it. As you can see, I'm on turn 10, and I when I finished, I had 18 fans remaining in the last square I took. So there we go. I went and did the, all the West teams. I then went back here to where you start. I then went and took over Minnesota, then Milwaukee. Then I took that's Detroit. Then I went to I think that is I think that's the Yankees. That's the Yankees. Then Toronto. Then went up in this corner where Boston is, and then went down the East Coast. So I went and got the Met. I think that's the Mets, and then that's the Phillies. I think, and then that is that the Nationals, and that's the and that's the um that's the Orioles. And then I'll continue going down the East Coast. Um, I guess that is... I'm not sure which team that is. Maybe that's Baltimore or Washington. I don't know for sure. No, that's... Pittsburgh is up here. This is Washington down this corner here. Then I went down to Florida, Miami, and then Tampa. And then I came up, took the Braves. And then I came up and took... That must be the Reds. Then I did the Indians, White Sox. This is the Cubs. That's the Royals. That's the Rangers, that's the Astros, and then last I finished were the St. Louis Cardinals. Turn 10, as you can see here, 18 remaining fans. You have to do it by turn 12. It was very, I mean, like I said, you ha I played every single game. Every square I took, I played. I didn't do, um like, just simulate. You know, you can go here and be like, I want to simulate. I didn't do that because I didn't want to risk it. I probably easily could have. I still have a couple extra turns, but... All in all, it was a grind, but during that, I was working on a lot of different missions. I was working on Team Epics, and right now with the PCI fielding, all these fun issues, especially there seem to be um, more pronounced online. If you guys want to play the show, but you don't really liking online, maybe it's a good time to do Conquest Extreme because you get some really good rewards. Um, real quick, well, I'm going to go do a lineup update, and I'll show you guys those cards that we got. Go over every single one of them real quick. All right, guys, so this is what my lineup is looking like. Uh, as you can see, I got all three cards in the lineup. I'm putting Jim Edmonds at first. Now, before you say k he's on a first baseman, you're right, he's not. It's a secondary position, though, so I'm putting him there. I just love the bat so much. I have to keep him on the team. My outfield has Matt Kemp in right. Now, I might put him in uh, center. I'm not sure. Him or Doby, I'm going to give them both a try, but Kemp has a better arm. Take a look at this. He has great contact versus both. Only pretty good power. 78 versus right. Not amazing. 99 versus left. 85 fielding, 83 speed. This card looks like a beast. 101 clutch. I can't wait to use this card. Um, here's the Dozier. I've always loved Brian Dozier cards, so I expect this one to be no different. Great power reverse left. Really good power reverse right. 
Um, the fielding is bronze. I don't care. It's a fielding at second base. And the thing is, with my lineup, I've noticed is that I struggle versus left-handed pitching. So the fact they get Dozier and Kemp, who both are better versus left than rights, but still good versus rights, I like that. And I have Mol- uh, Molina, who's actually my highest overall on the team, batting eighth. Now, like again, another guy who hits left, he's better than right. Still really good though. 88 contact, 101 uh, contact versus left. 61 and 72 power. That is not bad. I'll be using him until either it's possible to get the Gary Carter, and I don't want to do all the exchanges to get Piazza. I'm working on that Napoli stuff. But look at this fielding. 99 fielding, 99 arm. Good luck for people trying to run on me. Uh, This card looks like the beast on defense, and I hope he hits well. I mean, just based off the defense, I think it's a great card. Like I said, if he hits, it's a bonus. But yeah, that's the team. Uh, The lineup looks pretty good. All dimes except for Jim Edmonds. I could put in... Um, at first base, I do have Cepeda I could put in. I mean, I could put Joe Torre at first base, even though I don't really like this card. Um, I do have Ryan Zimmerman, who is a great who's a great bat, a diamond bat. So, all in all, I mean, it's worth it to do Conquest Extreme. I mean, you got the 35,000 stubs. You get those three dynamite cards. You get the collectible, which, I don't know, it may be needed for something else in the future. And like I said, if you want to play the show, but you're kind of iffy about the online, which I completely understand with the PCS moving on their own and all that fun stuff, it might not be a bad idea to work on it. It is a grind. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be like you do something in one night. It's going to be like, it'll take maybe a week to do, if you unless you put like eight, I mean, I probably put like an hour here, an hour there, an hour here, an hour there, and next thing you know, in like a week, I got it done. Basically what it was. But like I said, you don't have to play any games on Legend. It's more time-consuming than anything. So if you want to put on the grind, you get yourself three nine, uh, two ninety pluses and a really good second baseman in Dozier. Go ahead and do it, guys, and you'll be happy. I'll let you guys know how these cards play. Haven't had a chance to use them. Obviously, I just got them now. But I'm excited. And you know what the best part is? I don't have to do Conquest anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, that took forever. Uh, but I'll talk to y'all later, boys. Drop a like if you enjoyed this. Take it easy. Peace.